Hello YouTube, thanks for joining me. Uh, I'm going to show you today how I insulated this van and give you a couple tips if you ever try, decide to uh, use this foam insulation. Uh, the picture that you're looking at right now um, is a ceiling brace. I'm just marked it. It's an inch and a half thick. So that's the ceiling is the hardest uh, surface to do because you don't want to get it any thicker than that one and a half inch or be, you'll be cutting it off. And this closed cell foam is tough stuff once it sets up. And the corners at the top, you'll notice that there are little traces and those have got manufacturing wiring harnesses in them. You don't want to spray in there either. I took a, a fiberglass insulation and stuffed up in those compartments, those little tiny compartments, and then I taped them off. Actually, taping uh, was a full day job on this. It don't look like a lot of work, but uh, I covered the floor with paper and uh, I taped every surface that I did not want foam on. And of course, I, I taped uh, and plastic off the, uh, the cabin of the vehicle. Um, and those two bottles, they, they stay together. Uh, when that stuff comes out and it mixes in your nozzle, um, it sprays on the wall. And uh, that nozzle is what you got to watch. And it's the hardest thing uh, to deal with in the beginning because you're warned about it so much that uh, they give you, the kit gives you five nozzles, but I bought 10 extras and I used them all. Uh, because I'd spray a little bit and I'd stop. Anytime you stop for more than a minute, that nozzle will clog up and you got to put another um, nozzle on it. It's just a plastic little deal. Um, but uh, it's really easy to spray. Uh, on the sides there, it's about three inches from the outside of the, of the van to where you, you see the blue tape. And... Um, I taped off everything I did not want that anything I was going to screw something to or attach attach something to I taped off so I wouldn't have to be digging it off also uh, and I don't show it here I went ahead and drilled my uh, shore power plug hole on the side before I sprayed as well because I'd been digging that out trying to uh, get that all cut out in there so the only thing I did not cut out was the um, where the air conditioner goes all overhead until after it was insulated, but only will put a thin coat. So when you apply this, you put a very thin coat on all the surfaces. And this closed cell foam, when it sets, it closes up and it doesn't allow any air to touch the outside of the van. And that's how you eliminate the condensation. Most people that have motorhomes always complain in the wintertime, especially when they've got it real warm inside and it's cold outside, that the temperature difference between the two surfaces of that metal causes condensation and it creates a lot of water inside. When you use this foam, the temperature from the inside does not touch that metal so the metal never causes a condensation and this stuff adheres to that metal very well now this is a ceiling I've got one coat on it and um, it builds up there where you stop and start and I did have to one thing that tape actually helped peel it off but some places I had to take a uh, a saw and saw that uh, foam up because I saw that foam is very very tough and here I've got about two coats up in the ceiling and this is where the air conditioner goes over there to the right and uh, I haven't cut it out yet I only put one coat there knowing I was going to cut that out and over to the left you see I've got two coats and then I put a third coat up there and it came out uh, about an inch and a half thick there's a couple places I got a little thick and um, uh, then uh, just saw it off and, and put your boards up. And I only had to saw it where the, where the boards were going across. And I put the, the three quarter inch strips, two and a half inches thick, 
I mean wide and I put them on the sides as well where everywhere I was going to attach the paneling then I put the then I started putting the insulation board and also a seal taped it and all of those voids and after you get all the insulation board up um, and it, here I have framed out where the air conditioner I actually have the air conditioner set on there right in this picture here and uh, once you get it all sealed up and taped up this van is as quiet as it can be it doesn't have any rattles uh, when I picked this van up and it was empty it was noisy as you cannot believe but after putting all this insulation in it I'm very happy with it uh, and I wouldn't do it any other way uh, I know a lot of people are scared to spray this foam I priced using other types of insulation and this stuff is a little pricey I think for that kit it's like four hundred and fifty dollars but it did the entire van and I had some left over that I used in my garage and um, so I got my money's worth out of it but uh, I would highly recommend the foam and I'm sure the insulation board helps as well but uh, in the summertime when it's 110 down here in Texas and that air conditioner run is running it will freeze you out inside of that van and I'm very happy with it so that is how I insulated this thing and until next time check you later